The Capital Maharaja Group, together with the Asia Pacific Broadcasting Union, hosted the 29th ABU Intellectual Property and Legal Committee meeting at the Stein Studios Complex in Ratmalana. The highlight of day two was a panel discussion on the topic of protection of broadcast signals, legal approaches. Gady Lung, the senior counsellor of the Copyright Law Division of the World Intellectual Property Organization, spoke about the current status of the proposed broadcasters' treaty and other legal approaches to protect broadcasters' signals. Facilitator and expert of WIPO, Yuka Leeds, explained the substantial provisions of the treaty. Of, of the 52 or 54 uh, con uh, members of ABU, uh, already some a bit more than 10 are, are parties to, to, to the Rome Convention. So in those countries, uh, the level of protection uh, that is uh, prevailing in, on domestic level in, in, in Sri Lanka is already in, in, in a sense of international protection in force. But many surrounding countries are still, still outside of the system. So why a new treaty? Because this uh, level of protection in the Rome Convention is considered to now, 60 years after its, its uh, conclusion, is considered to be outdated. The second session featured a panel discussion regarding law and journalism. The theme for this year's meeting was new developments in media and intellectual property law and impact on broadcasters. This forum was aimed at fostering, learning and exchanging of ideas between the members of the ABU. In the realm of media, the clash between privacy rights and freedom of expression is a constant battle as the media and journalists strive to uncover the truth, but sometimes at the cost of invading personal privacy. As society debates the boundaries, the delicate balance between these fundamental rights hangs in the balance. This discourse has intensified further by the rise of social media, which has brought the trends of delivering internet news as things happen, raising serious privacy concerns. The safeguarding of free expression is now widely regarded as a common good. Ideally, the media should contribute to the realization of the right to express unpopular opinions or to disagree with the point of view expressed by the majority. You know, defamation in South Asia, uh, you know, takes different different forms. On the one hand, based on the charter, based on the, uh, you know, um, legal provisions that I have mentioned in the Asia Pacific countries, you know, there is enough provision uh, either by, either through the constitution or through uh, statutory law uh, to have, um, uh, to, main, uh, to, to protect inherent dignity. The IPLC is the ABU's legal division's flagship committee, which deals with contemporary legal and regulatory issues related to the media and broadcasting industry. Transnational corporations, or the so-called uh, TNCs, violate human rights, assuming that there are two different schools of thought on this topic, that at least some perfect human rights duties can be assigned to them, and then they have duties to protect and provide for human rights, assuming that special perfect human rights duties can be assigned to such categories. The significant economic power of TNCs combined with their ability to act globally enables them to choose the place with the most advantageous conditions in which to set up businesses. This will vary often, including those states offering the cheapest labor and the relaxed rules for the protection of human rights. Victims around the world have been subjected to the harmful activities of TNCs, suffering serious physical injury, death, adverse health effects and damages to, in, uh, to their incomes, environment and livelihoods. Approximately 35 international delegates from across the Asia-Pacific attended this event, which was addressed by speakers from the Asia-Pacific and Europe.